Aloha everyone, what is really good my dudes? Today is November 30th, 2020. We got another RuneScape update for y'all. Today we see the return of the Advent Calendar. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, before we get started, I just want to let you know that on Wednesday, Jagex is doing a D&D &D live stream where we might get more information about Rakshaw, the new upcoming solo and duo boss. So, if that does happen, I will cover it on the channel, whatever kinds of information they give, should they give any. Having said that, let's talk about today's update. We got the return of the RuneScape Advent Calendar. If you're not familiar, the RuneScape Advent Calendar is very similar to Advent Calendars you could buy in real life, where every day of December you can open up a new doorway and get yourself a free chocolate, only in this case you get some kind of RuneScape related gift. Every time you open a door on the same day as the number written on it, you'll get a free treasure hunter key, as well as progress towards the grand prize, which is a Sir Colington Embers plushie. So there's not really much more to say about this, it's pretty standard, just every day make sure you log in and collect from the calendar. Obviously if you miss a couple days you'll be able to catch up, but it looks like if you do miss those days you will not be getting yourself treasure hunter keys for those days that you missed. So that's definitely important to note if you can't log in every day. Do note that if you are watching this video, however, on the day of release, but before the daily reset, you won't be able to start with the calendar yet as it isn't officially December yet. So you'll have to wait until reset. If you're watching this after reset, not a problem. You'll be able to get started. Anyways, that is it for your main game update. We're going to now shift on over to the patch notes and see what's been changed with today's update. So let's go ahead and check it out. Starting off with mobile, they visually improved the sheet painting section of the Mourner's End Part 1 to increase playability. Mobile users now have the option to turn on one tap gameplay. This option can be found in the gameplay settings menu under game interaction. And the shoulder orbs in the Dawn Radiant armor are now positioned correctly and will animate correctly. Moving on to graphics and interface, you can now see Hope Spear without the Ring of Visibility quip or held in the backpack. The yellow stripes on the Muspa in prison in the block of ice and the tail of the Muspa will now appear correctly. The UI will no longer become unavailable when using the enchanted lamb egg and attempting to teleport. The shard of the needle is now displayed correctly in the quest complete screen for the needle skips. Death Lotus Assassin barrels no longer clip through normal barrels. The rope used in the Karamja crossing shortcut no longer wiggles upwards while in use. The appearance tab will no longer allow you to look inside your character's skull. The baby Gobi's chat head will no longer clip in specific spots during dialogue. Your character will now swim instead of walk during specific portions of the quest rocking out. Wushanku fishing bait no longer displays a misleading chimes value despite being an untradeable item. Fixed an issue that was preventing the corruption debuff from the Sovanem Slayer dungeon appearing on the debuff bar between logins. Moving on to double XP, you will now consume feathers as normal when luring or baiting near Barbarian Village during double XP events. Fixed a bug where players could activate the Desert Pantheon aura while the double XP timer was paused. The double XP overlay is no longer active on Tutorial Island. And moving on to some other improvements, the animation for the kick ability now displays properly. The voiceover to Primrose's note to Gale in the needle skips now matches the text. Iron Man may now participate in challenge gem competitions. The camera will now reset to the default view when completing the Lava Fall sequence in Children of Ma. The Super Guthix Rest and Brew Flasks now have a 30 second cooldown down from 45. The Emerald Aurora Stack Timer will now be refreshed after recasting the spell. Returning players will no longer log in to find themselves trapped inside of a cliff face north of Remington and will instead be placed somewhere safe. Fixed an issue where the Supreme Growth Potions in the Farmer's Market were unable to be purchased if the player had a full backpack. Corrected the capitalization of Anachronia in the description for Been There Done That Got the Postcard. Creating hidey holes will no longer correctly prioritize planks in the plank box. Various fixes have been made to cosmetic package content descriptions. Using a special attack from the action bar without a weapon equip will no longer cause players to disconnect. Attempting to view more information about a clan when interacting with the clan flag will no longer force a logout. 
fixed a bug where the kitty litter achievements erroneously required rat catchers to be complete. Reading the signpost in Canifis will now correctly begin Creature of Fankenstrain. You will no longer be disqualified from the Tokar Mock achievements if you attack Tokar Hawk with a degraded obsidian kite shield equip. Pickpocketing a volunteer will now count towards a pickpocketing daily challenge. Fixed pathing for familiars. Certain unreachable spots near the elf camp are now reachable. It has been made clearer that you do not need to downgrade your dwarf multi cannon to acquire either the royal cannon or the restocking cannon upgrade. To clarify, you need a gold multi cannon to upgrade to a royal version, and you need the royal version to get the restocking cannon upgrade. And that is it for your patch notes. Links to everything discussed in this video will be down in the description below, so head on over there and check them out. With that, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things Wizard Game related, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I'm out. Aloha.